So in this lesson, we're going to go over the basic parts of the guitar and kind of what they do. Hmm? So here we have a guitar. Now, first off, a lot of this is actually named after the human body. So that's one thing to keep in mind. So this part of our guitar is called our head or our headstock. And on this part, we have our tuning lugs or machine heads. And we use these to change the tension of our strings. So we can change these actual notes or when changing a string, we can tune it up. Moving down, here we have our nut. Now this is used to anchor our strings so they're straight on our fretboard. And it's also used to adjust the action of our strings. Now the action of our strings is the height of the strings off the fretboard. If we wanted to lower it, we can shave off the bottom of our nut and that will lower our strings. Or if we wanted to raise the action, we can bulk it up or get a new nut. Now it's not really that simple when it comes to setting our action, just as changing the nut, but it does have something to do with it. Again, moving down, we have our neck, and this is where the magic happens. We have on the front side of it, our fretboard, and it's our fretboard because it's got frets in it. And the frets are these little pieces of metal that give us our defined and individual notes. Now, inside the neck, you have something called a truss rod, and we use this to adjust the angle of our neck. Usually you'll be able to access your truss rod through here. If you look under your fretboard, you'll usually find a small little hole with an Allen key socket in it. And we use that to change the tension in our neck. So that moves the steel rod in a way that either makes the neck come forward or go backwards, subtly. I wouldn't recommend messing with this stuff if you don't know what you're doing. Just leave it be and get a professional to do it for you. Next up, we have our heel. This is used to basically reinforce our neck to our body. So it's a stronger join and it doesn't just like break under the tension of the strings and get ripped off. Heel. Next up, we're up to our body. So this is our body and it has a face, sides and a back. And the parts of our body are our shoulders, our waist and our butt. <laughs> now on the face of the guitar, we have our sound hole. And if you look inside our sound hole, we can see our back bracing as well as our sides bracing. And there is also bracing on the face. They're the little bars that are running around inside your guitar. They're holding it all together. Now, a lot of guitars will have a sticker or some sort of engraving or woodwork around the actual sound hole. And we call that a Rosetta ring. Oh yeah, we got strings. There's six of those. Yeah, that kind of thing. Now, another thing we have on the face of our guitar is our bridge. That's this thing down here. Now, in the bridge, we have our saddle. And this is basically doing the same job as our nuts doing up here. It's keeping our strings in line and making sure they don't drift around. They're locked in position. And lastly, we have our strap pin or our strap button. And you'll find those usually around here. And then a lot of the time you'll have one in your heel as well on your guitar. And they're just used for fastening your strap to your guitar so you can play your guitar standing up. Pretty simple. So yeah, that's about it. Guitar.